I'm gonna put that shit. Uh, my controller. I can't fucking fly anywhere. Are we swag? Swagging? Zipper, are we swagging on you? We are. Nod yes or no. Oh, Don't do the robot thing. Oh, shit. Oh, he's, he's doing the robot. He's floss. Oh, oh whoa. What? what? He's, Jesus Christ. That's, crazy. that's why he stays behind doing, the doing camera. Doing the robot in the piss corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the piss gas made him all weird for that for that second. Started freaking out like a spider. You could poison it. Yeah, so. Hey, this country's fucked up. You know why? Why? All right, so we got we got proud boys, right? Yeah. And, every, and everyone's <laughs> all mad when boys do it, but proud family, whole family of girls do it. <laughs> They're not all girls. We all have a, we make, we give them a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. you know what when you're right you're right no they got blue people when you when you <laughs> put it that way that, that show was interesting i watched i watched pre, i think every episode and i was like you know what this is just the canker sisters which came first hmm? which came first the i guess ed and eddie, probably ed and eddie i think so yeah do you ever have that kid in school that was like you know they're all dead right Oh, the edit and anything? Yeah. yeah, there was that one. And it's like, the dude, shut up. I'm ashes, trying to. Ashes I'm, in the coma theory. I'm trying to dip my Doritos into the nacho cheese that they give you for the. the nacho yeah, I'm chips trying to drink time. chocolate milk for lunch because that's normal at our schools. Yeah, you're, you're, you're telling me all the cartoons are dead. So. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the yard. I don't think the Proud Boys are good. My name's Ludwig. Look at your face. <laughs> what look do you at, mean? Look at, What's it, wrong this with is, his face? Guys, I can't see it. It's 10 in the morning right now. Can I see him? You look like the, the Rutherford picture. That Nick chose <laughs> when we did the Rutherford and Rutherford Dust 2 car salesman bit for CS Summit. Dude, that video and you is look so good. And like shit. You look like you walked into Urban Outfitters and picked the ugliest pants. Ugly? Okay, well, hold on. <laughs> hold on. All three of you look like you found outfits on the floor of the living room currently. This is from Urban Outfitters. Well, and I this think is Kate, you look great. I. I think I look normal. I said it to fish. Give it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Give we, it back well, in. We're, we're both wearing Schlatt <laughs> okay. merch. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Well, look, I, we just love Jay Schlatt. We're just big fans. Yeah. And welcome to the podcast. It's just influencer town. I, I Wait, found out I was the, like, I was pretending he was here. Does he do that? Not. No, I thought he's gonna like oh, walk yeah, behind. Like, oh <laughs> yeah. And speaking of, yeah. it's actually I didn't pick up on that at all. He's not here. He's not coming. <laughs> he's never coming. I found out the Proud Boys started because of a podcast. That's no. the origin of no. the group. <laughs> yeah. that is, QAnon? No, they listened to Chuggle Sandwich so. and they were like, <laughs> 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 they were like, these puns are too fucking much and we gotta do something you, about it. You, we can be way more racist than these did guys. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> did you see that U-Haul full of people that they arrested? Wait, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. One of those guys was slimesicle. That's why he's not uh, on the Yeah, anymore. that's why he's not on it anymore. Yeah. There is a non-zero amount of people who went through the alt, alt right pipeline through Jay Schlatt. It's got to be like three. I mean, he does have <laughs> like, a Glock, huh? He does have a Glock. Well, yeah, I think, it's not zero. <laughs> he's certainly a Republican man online. Well, you can't you can't say that about like it, it's not zero for anyone, right? There's got to be someone who watched your video about Smashers being broke that like. Now Dude. is thinking, you know, we need to go back to the Capitol. And he's like 10 <laughs> recommended videos from like a Bill Maher rant. Oh, so it's like an Armada number, but you don't want your number to be lower. And the, the lower it is, the closer they are to the pipeline. Yeah. Yeah. Because everyone goes to the pipeline. Yeah. Everyone eventually ends up oh, over yeah. there. But if it's like if, 20 if suggested male. videos, you're great. Yeah, 20, it's a hard to get there. It's like you, you it's, stop by Adam Ragusi and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm going to leave in this. It is weird how if you click on the wrong combination of like Minecraft and Call of Duty videos, you're <laughs> getting recommended Change My Mind by Steven Crowder. Yeah, yeah. it's very quick. <laughs> I, I do I do wonder. It's like uh, fucking Jack Manifold and then it's just Prager you coming up next. <laughs> Jack's doing a Minecraft Let's Play and here's why uh, the Israelis were right the whole time. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Typing in best Warzone class layout. I'm very quickly getting Jordan <laughs> oh, Peterson. You'll get there quick, I think. Also, I uh, I have this new bit where I was in Atrox chat, rare footage, but I was just watching the stream, <laughs> and uh, I go, I go in there, and he's like, "What should what should I react to? Wait, guys, got anything funny?" <laughs> Like, you know, and he's flailing around like a fucking, <laughs> like an Ed and Eddie character, on honestly. Stream, there's like 45 viewers. He's, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like Dude, a gibbon who's seen a, what you a do? banana for the first fucking time in a year. <laughs> 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 
And he, <laughs> you worked on that. <laughs> no, I just watched okay. monkey videos all, right. all the time. He's so, in he's in his new house, fucking practicing yeah. gibbon noises. He, yeah. he just had a flashback to him in like I'm, I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna do it today. <laughs> Today's the day of the pot. I do it. In, you guys, I've been working on that. I've been loving the gibbons. Gibbons are funny. They're fucking funny. And so he's like asking for a shit to react to, and I. uh I go to one of my old favorites, which is the the Syrian uh, Revolution combat footage, and I just link him a channel. <laughs> and I go, Syrian combat footage, Pog. Syrian <laughs> combat footage, Pog. And then he's like, <laughs> he always the same thing. Like, <laughs> I'm watching. T- All right, not watching Syrian combat footage. Yeah, okay. yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, you would say. God, he's such a fucking. You used to he, do it to he, me. He is a traced uh, outline of himself as a gingerbread man. <laughs> You're getting lost at Atrock for a moment. You used to do that, by I the way. Him. This yeah, is not a new to bit. You. Yeah, I would. I would link Bonehead, Naked City, the song from Funny Games, and then also military combat. Footage. That's what. That's why it, I like the song, dude. Because he'd click that video and he would react. Yeah, he would react. He would to the explain series. it. And he'd explain. Yeah, he was on it. We How were it's a, a proxy war. We were on Austin's game show, <laughs> which is like The Price is Right. Yeah. And one of the things that came up was um, the Domino's uh, mascot, the the nerd. No, not the nerd. The Day Puff, Marshmallow Man. No. Shit. Zipper knows this. You the should. Domino's Marshmallow, mascot? the yeah, producer. Old Domino's mascot. And it, and it was, and it's called like. It's not Mac Zipper Tonight. Pony screen. the Tiger. Are you thinking Mac Tonight? Because that was McDonald's. The noise. Oh, the noise. Avoid oh, the noise. He really yes. hates this. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> what Hassan. The fuck. I don't know about this. Old Domino's mascot. <laughs> That's that, real? That yeah. got discontinued because someone was like having a psychotic episode and thought the noise was following them around and then held two people hostage at a Domino's. Well, he. <laughs> that sounds like the noise just doing his job. No, no, people. he's ruining the pizzas. No, he's fucking guy, them up. No, that, I'm saying that <laughs> if someone if someone has this guy so stuck in their head, they they want to kill people. I feel like. But he, at least he, they went to Domino's to do it. They went to Domino's. I feel like yeah. you keep that yeah. shit around. They didn't, uh, they didn't go to an HSBC branch and do this. Yeah. They, they went to the source. <laughs> and I think that's important. So the marketing won out <laughs> is what... It did. And no one died. But I saw it on the podcast kept being like six people died because of the Noid incident in 1980. And he's like trying to <laughs> ramble it off the top. I like that. He's like kind of accurate, but also kind of not. That's, that's also the slime. It's just yeah. kind of being right about something. I was listening to a new Hassan video. I do this thing where I listen to Hassan videos like podcasts. And I'm listening to him like listen to and explain the history of Boris Johnson before becoming prime minister. And it's just listing off all this heinous shit Boris has done in his younger days, like throughout his career as a politician before he was elected. And uh, he's he's explaining like the narrator is just blandly explaining everything he's done. But every other thing is a new employee of his that he knocked up while he was married to another woman. Really? And he's also going through marriages as it happens. You think you're going to hit 10th prestige without from challenges <laughs> yeah. unlocked, bro? <laughs> it's like the end of the video. He's like, Boris has now fathered six children while married with a different woman. Whoa. Dude, it's the 40 child challenge. <laughs> <laughs> the Elon Musk. Yeah. Except he, he he had the same wife and then he made her dye her hair and then left her. Yeah. And then replied to our Twitter being like, well, what? Yeah. Well, what did you want from That was me? a crazy then, article written by his ex-wife. And then like, she went to Hassan's house. She hung out with Hassan. True. Ah. <laughs> well, hey, actually. Hey, okay. For, so for straight white males, the pipeline is to end up in the alt-right Proud Boys U-Haul. Uh-huh. For, for, <laughs> for women, it's to just end up at Hassan's house. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go back the to the left- girls you don't tell them you were there <laughs> <laughs> the feminine left wing pipeline to Hassan's house yeah it's just Hassan's house the, the and he's just oiled right up wing and he's pipeline like yeah. to the U-Haul. <laughs> yeah. do, do you think we could roll up with 40 of our boys to the U-Haul and be like can we get one of these do you think they would give us a U-Haul <laughs> yeah. right now <laughs> if we show up in fucking masks yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, we would like one U-Haul no we're just no, he's moving next no, week. No, he's all my roommates. Stuff, so we are gonna help he's him. He's all my roommates. <laughs> I love the idea of uh, let's say there's like let's say there's like an influencer who like you know decides to watch the yard and then kind of like criticize it for like making jokes about like you know whatever I don't know penises or something maybe <laughs> young penises. And the idea that like someone would look at someone would like make a video about that and then like think that we were going to talk about it on the next episode but then they just have to watch me get waxed for two and a half hours 
This is like so hypothetical. It's, it's like a not random, even a thing that could ever happen. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it's just so funny. It could thing. happen. Like, if that could ever happen, that'd be so funny if that ever happened, dude. What we, what we should do is we do another wax episode, but in the chapters, you like put it at the two hour, 49 minute mark. Dude. And then they stick all the way through. And then it's like, nope, not there yet. <laughs> that, that was the butthole. <laughs> I, I was hanging out, hanging out with Zipper 3 last night, and she. She got waxed and she was talking. She told the woman who waxes her about what we did. Mm -hmm. And she showed her the clip of you like writhing on Twitter. <laughs> and and the woman apparently was like, yeah, so it's different. It's weird for guys because like it'll hurt more because their hair is a little thicker. And what you want to do actually is uh, it's easier to wax the shaft if it's if it's hard. Oh. <gasps> You guys should have stepped up to the plate. <laughs> one that's, of you, no, one of you should have answered the call. That's of duty. on Lana. No, <laughs> that's, that's not, not on Lana's me. job. That's not Lana's job. If the masseuse Dude, is saying or the waxer get, is saying that it's better if they're hard, no context, no context, no explanation. <laughs> Lana starts beating him off to make the waxing easier. She's just like, just I, like she, I, she, she does I think I leave the room. If I'm being honest, she does. I don't think no, I stay around. That gets real. I, I'm leaving. Come on, dude. That's fucked up. That's rude to I say. I also believe there's probably secret techniques waxers have that get them rock hard instantly. It's not the old fashioned. Yeah. <laughs> they just go. They, they just go. Like the opposite. The and, and, opposite of the cold spoon trick. Yeah. And it's insta. It's like road trip. It's the five finger heart technique. The just, five finger boner explosion. Just, just, technique. Just, yeah. And then you're just like. It doesn't make you come, but it just loads you up with fucking blood in your peep. It's it's the natural Use Viagra. this technique for waxing purposes only. Yeah. Only only that yeah, because otherwise god will know and he'll punish you with priapism he's got like a case of viagra in the back like just in case yeah, she's like here take one of these you'll be fine it's like what is it Lonnie? she's like viagra so your penis gets hard so it's easier to wax and i'm like okay yeah, apparently this woman was serious like she she was like yeah the the if it's flaccid it just stretches the skin like a lot and it makes it much harder remember what i said you guys be so impressed if you saw my fucking boner up bro not I too late bro. not too late this don't pod. need to you know, there's. Well, it's, all right, let's everyone line way, up. We're gonna beat them off. <laughs> Any yardigans? I I found out they in uh in Japan. There's a company who's making AI to make censored porn not censored. Oh, that makes sense. And yeah. it works like pretty well. It's like the 4chan bubble. Uh, yeah. Method. Wait, who's developing? You it? run the program Some so you AI can see company. Anthony's like it, armpit where? pussy they're in using Discord. Like, <laughs> I don't know. No, where. I'm saying. Do you say in Japan? Yeah, it's like they're using deep learning tech. I, it's, it's, Why it's, would it's, they, it's they censor the shit? Yeah, but yeah. Why, a, why? a nation is made of many individuals, Nick. Bro, just go to the editing program. Well, it's, it's not the same. It's it. not the same person. No, we're doing Dude, it in post. Do you think there's one guy in the whole country of Japan who no, runs it not, all? It's it just <laughs> fun. dumbass. It's funny. Funny. Hey, Doctor Mario, also the guy, not a doc, yeah. the guy who yeah. coded this AI. Hey. Weirdly, the guy censoring all the porn. Yeah. In the first place. He's a busy guy. No, Sakurai. He has a monopoly. <laughs> Fuck, you you Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. They, yeah, it's they took L canceling out of porn, and then it, it's the same guy who put tripping back in. And yeah. Nick's like, I don't get it. It's just one person all the time. Something I also don't get about. About that censorship law is can't Japanese people just look at non-Japanese porn? Why? I just look at other I videos. I actually don't know the answer. Maybe the, you can't. Maybe they don't have. You might need a VPN. Yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> just you don't say no, they, like you, you don't know. think they could go to PHub there? It might. It might. I don't know. Japan's a free. JP. Japan's a free country. It's literally not. You it's can't like, even right, enter it. We're gonna censor <laughs> all of our porn because we like it. It's chill. Now we're gonna invest money in a robot that fixes it. <laughs> not, it's a private. God damn it! Anyway, You're understanding it? Yeah. No, he's right. The government is the one making the AI. It's all one guy. It's all day. <laughs> we should we should find that technology and use it for an uncensored version of the waxing episode. We don't need it, Ludwig. We have no, that no, footage. no, 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 no. But it'd be funnier if the AI built back your body. Yeah. And it getting waxed. The way that the way that it does those new those memes now, where all the faces are kind of fucked up and weird and yeah. horror like but it's just my like weird cop <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it looks better <laughs> yeah it would look better it'd be easy to make i mean it my better. shit wasn't my shit wasn't fucking on a poster where you guys were looking at it but if it was fucking if i was raw card you guys would be like damn look at what he's got i think i'd be i think i'd have to get on, get on board yeah you think you have to climb I, I, on i'd have to see what's up yeah Slide a mile six inches at a time. <laughs> Sometimes I close my eyes and I think about when I stepped up and then I saw your asshole and your ball sack and the wax dripped in it. And I think I just I'll think about it. 
Yeah, I, I, dude, dude, his face on one of those clips, dude. Yeah. Where you, you're like, look, look at Ludwig's face, and Ludwig's just staring for so him. Many, like, so, so many replies. Gross. So many replies were, "This is the first time I've ever seen Ludwig break." <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was, he was, he looked like he was gonna puke. Did you break? No. Yeah, Never you broke did. In my life. No, you that was all did. part of the act, part of the ruse. I rewatched. I rewatched, and there was a part where I said, "You look like Tub Girl," and I, yeah. I, I yeah. thought that was funny. <laughs> that was good. I think Mitch was like, "That line dude, killed me." Oh, <laughs> the colors, dude. You said you said my head looked like the All Saints logo. There was that was I, fire. So for for reference, <laughs> at, at the time I was getting waxed, I'm usually hypercritical and like analyzing at every moment if the podcast is going well. But I was obviously taken up mentally by the thing that was happening to my body. So at the time I was getting waxed, I was like, this pod sucks. I'm getting fucking waxed. And this fucking, <laughs> fucking hair pulled out of my fucking skin. Fucking this sucks. And then I listened to it back and I'm like, this is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty funny episode. Yeah, right? one of ten episode. There you go. Oh, yeah, it better fucking been. If it was a two out of ten, I would have fucking found a desert eagle and used That's it. Not, <laughs> that, <laughs> on what? That. You have to be clear. On my dick and balls. <laughs> my smooth That's dick and balls. That's actually heroic. For, for fucking would for that disappointing even, Would me. that even hurt? I, th- I feel like it would just do so no, much damage. No, it wouldn't hurt. I feel like it would. I feel like it would. Use, I feel like <laughs> no. Oh my god, it's, Nick is it's dumb so arrow. easy to make that sound dumb. <laughs> I know. I no, 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 he's <laughs> right, you guys. It wouldn't hurt at all <laughs> oh to blow your god. genitals off with a fucking fifty <laughs> cal handgun. This no, is it wouldn't. The type of conversation that led to that one dude dying no. because they thought the book would You're block the, the gunshot. You're asking the questions that streamers ask no, you know when, they, when they want to no, make this conversation is real. Oh, milk good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then is I got <laughs> and then Kurzakaz literally next clip goes and oatmeal is good for you <laughs> oh shit dude <laughs> have you ever gone through something like so painful it doesn't even fucking hurt what happens <laughs> yeah no we're not with you we're not you guys, you guys I'm, fucking I'm coming back I'm coming back to you to answer your question seriously no that has never happened to me I do think it would hurt I know there's a controversial <laughs> statement to you <laughs> I've okay. I've had injuries that are so bad you just don't feel anything. Also, way later. What heartbreak? (laughs) (laughs) I've listened to a Juice World song. (laughs) Have you guys never done that? Yo, no, no, yo, he's right. New Joji Joji album got me feeling like that. (laughs) I think the fifty caliber bullets are so strong that even if you don't shoot yourself, it will hurt you. Wait, hold on. Wait, like if you miss? Yeah, it'll hurt like your hand. Well, I know with sniper bullets, like the really powerful sniper bullets, if you shoot next to someone, it'll kill them next to them yeah because it goes so fast that it like it like creates like a little it's vortex trauma, and it rips yeah. them. so the, i've actually looked this up there there's there are people that like use blanks on set like the thing that happened with uh fucking alec baldwin except there were no bullets in the gun but the, there are people who like as a joke on a set with blanks in a in a pistol will like shoot at themselves and they'll die because the blunt force trauma from it coming out, even though there's no projectile, actually can still fucking kill you. So I believe Ludwig, because I've read about this, mm-hmm. and it's it's the pretty, don't even got a hit. It's pretty sad. I'm calling MythBusters. Don't use gun. <laughs> and this is the Republican pipeline, because now they're gonna look up guns. And oh no! Like, is this no, real? Stay away. Go back to go back to uh, fuck kids. What? Kids, you can kill people without actually shooting them. You can <laughs> shoot next to them. It's a lower <laughs> sentence, but they still die. Dude, speaking of, I got shot in the ass with a BB gun when I was like at fucking fourteen. Hurt so bad. Be, not not a not a. Uh, what's the other one? Airsoft. airsoft? No, it was an actual BB Ooh, gun that, that, that through my hurt. jeans. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, okay, this is real my deal. My jeans. Yeah, it shot me in the ass. It was my <laughs> my my neighbor who was my friend. His his cousin Kyle, who was real handsome and a big bully. Wow. And he showed us. So drugs. many of your stories when you like look back, you're always like, he was so good looking. Like, yeah, it's always in there. Cause I'm always trying to track. <laughs> you were from Colorado, dude. No, no, no. Kyle was from no, 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 no. no Kyle was from Denver. That's and, still and, in Colorado. And, oh, it was and, a he was, and he was a Grand Junction nine. Thank you, <laughs> Kyle. No, Kyle would have been a god in Grand Junction, bro. No, dude. Kyle a Grand fucking, Junction nine, but he can only climb V ones. <laughs> this is this actually happened. I'm just it's, it's all fucking Slumdog Millionaire coming back to me. Kyle in my backyard. We're all as me. Tommy and Kyle. Tommy was my neighbor, and uh, he tackles me, and he's just bullying me. He's like puts me in like this wrestling hold, and he's like, because <laughs> I I had my mom get me Family Guy DVDs seasons oh. one through three, and they were like my most prized possession. Guys, it's like two thousand four, so fuck this is like twenty. <laughs> Why you weren't born yet? So. Go eat my shit. And, uh, 2016, and he's fucking, and Kyle's got me in my own backyard in like a, a choker hold, and I'm on the ground. He's like, let me borrow your Family Guy DVDs. 
Dude, that's the kind of Napoleon Dynamite scene. I know. He's like, let me borrow. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then I did, and I had to let him borrow for seven days. He gave him back, though? He didn't give him back. Because wow. cause, cause then Tommy's mom would have got mad at Kyle, and she was fuck, he was fucking scared of her. He just had a big binge fest of Family Guy? Yeah, and he just watched Family Guy. and like, like, It's like the time I Slipknot. choked you for these DVDs. He, but also, he would be nice like every once in a while. He's very big brother energy that I like never had. But then also he would uh, he did this thing once that changed my life I think where he would he so it was Tommy lived across the street and his whole family was there and he had like a big ass family like like seven aunts or something they all came over one day and they were all like eating dinner in the kitchen and there's this big window in the kitchen and at night you know how at night when the light shines and it reflects off the glass inside and you can't see outside right? yeah so Kyle. It was me, Tommy, and Kyle again in the dark, in the yard, running around, shooting each other in the ass, BB guns. Kyle's like, hey, check this out. He goes in front of the window where there's seven people eating dinner, whips out his cock, and then just starts peeing on the ground. And I'm start flipping out like, no! <laughs> They're gonna see it, dude! And he's like, uh-uh, look. And they're just not noticing him. And I'm like, whoa. He's weird. <laughs> cool. What did that change about you? Like, what have you taken it, away it, from it that? It made me realize that you can do that. You can yeah. show your cock to people and it's okay. Well, they, you're not showing it to them because sure. they can't see it. So you're doing the I'm not touching you game, but with showing your penis. Yeah, but he was also peeing. There was yeah. utility there. Right. It's not like he was just like, hey, check it out. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah, that's that's, that is true. <laughs> So, in a know. way, some farts are weird now too. You're always trying to fucking trap me. In you have some weird way, farts bro. now. Yeah, I have weird farts. Like I'm a fucking asshole. Goddamn fucking. Are your wax, shits good? T- 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 tell me about them. My shits are clean as the day I was born. It's like having a bidet that is on your ass. Do you have a bidet? <laughs> yeah, I got another one. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> and so I have. Did a, you get a nice one? I got the one we have. Yeah, I had to. You deserve it. Photo SLB 2034. Yeah, hard I can't. to go back. Three hundred dollars. I know. It's actually more. A lot of the time, you got a good deal. Uh, I think it was more actually. 366 probably yeah, it's, man, it's I like can't. a market yeah like you like they go they fluctuate in price like yeah that? there was they're on sale on amazon yeah he he's following b d e t <laughs> on his stock market trader i know because i talked about bidets on stream and uh, and someone's like recommend a bidet and i'm like just buy the cheapest one on amazon and, and, and i was like if you don't really want to ball out and i showed up the toto and and then i got like a fucking message i was like wow recommending a 500 hundred dollar one you're jaded fucking lit that guy up because I was like I said buy the cheapest one dumbass yeah, you I'm not gonna recommend that. a brand they, yeah. only, they only remember the last five seconds a- amen Nick yeah. amen and they all and they all give us five dollars too so go <laughs> fuck yourself well no, that's a we should well, say that no. uh, thanks thank you, thank you. No, we, we, we appreciate Patreon. it everyone actually actually are. <laughs> except our Patreon members here we're all yeah you guys are enlightened and different for sure we're, see, we're all on your side <laughs> sounds like we're not but we, are, we really like you, are bro. we really are don't like you bro and then we someone lo- in the comments we love Slime you Slime just like does everything he can to just be unlikable it's like have you seen the last patreon episode by the way i'm really hungry hold on you bring snackies oh uh, i i went i went and got some sorry i'm hungry Ugh. oh what's up no i was just i just wanted to eat something Dude, that quick. looks delicious yeah you know you this is just like a... without us no no i <laughs> <laughs> i just got got kind of hungry so i just wanted to like eat like a thing Ew, yeah so someone would call this uh well i don't know what what would you call it at mm-hmm. home yeah uh i mean i feel like this is <laughs> let us know could go by a lot of names uh, one of them maybe more more accurate than uh, another, but I'm just gonna eat it. Cause I'm just really hungry, so I'm just fucking go go off. Do you imagine not being in the Patreon, having no fucking idea what this is about? <laughs> yeah, there's like a three minute segment yeah. about this. Like, is this a sponsor? <laughs> like, maybe they're sponsored by it Big does, Waffle. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm just hungry, so I've got a fucking snack, so whatever. It does. Oh, what's up, Aiden? Look like a waffle right now. Oh, does it? Yeah. Maybe that's because that's what it is, man. <laughs> oh man, it's like actually that. a crawl. I like how you said it right now, He's like right. like it could change. <laughs> like you could change. Who her. knows what it will be? Yeah, I don't even eat carbs, but I was just so hungry that I needed to. Yeah, how, how is that? How's it feel inside you? Oh, this thing, uh, it's really good. Next time you go there, I recommend the lavender cookie. It's pretty good. Yeah, no, I wanted a I wanted a donut. So, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is most similar to a donut of those two items. Anyway. I would say that. <laughs> if you guys want to know what we're talking about, basically, Aiden had no. A join fucking... the Patreon, watch a bonus episode. We don't have to explain <laughs> shit. We don't got to explain shit to you guys. That's true. We don't. We That's don't have to do you. anything. Ask a. Ask we a can peer. end the podcast right fucking now. Ask a peer and, and then, upload it, and and then well, that would be crazy. And then you have to watch like 
like 45 yeah. minutes left. People think it's a, a miss upload. Oh and then, no, I got I got mochi on my pants. Well, you kind of deserve that. Matcha. Oh, matcha. It is matcha. You just say you just called I, matcha. I, you mochi. said mochi. Yeah, you were yeah, the one who said mochi. A bit of a circle, dude. I counted up all my videos since Coots came around. I've uploaded 17 videos. I'm averaging a million views a video for the first time ever. That's insane. It, it's crazy. Bro, we've known this since the dawn of the internet. Your last video was just titled Cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. I, sh I, you did that one, and I was like, surely he doesn't get away with this one. Uh -huh. Because he all of the titles have been about the cat lately. And then I just... Gets I away think I watched it. that one. It's just a ready recap, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It's That's just insane. a Reddit recap. It's yeah. just I did, a but, recap. But I clicked that, and I never watch Reddit recaps. I haven't uploaded them in months because they're they don't do well and and they're hard to thumbnail title. Also, yeah, did, did yeah, you, it, no, it looks hard. <laughs> my thumbnail <laughs> editor DM me. He's like, so no thumbnails this month. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Omar, what you, dude. What you could do is start uploading videos like from here on out, but use like Durs for the next week, and then see just the drop in views. Oh my Ooh. god, that'd be sad. Oh, that is so <laughs> oh, oh, empirical funny. evidence then, that Durs sucks. And then that's, and sad, then that's, that's what we could we could install Durs with at home. That's not empirical be like, evidence. Hey, Durs sucks. Hey, look at the views, Durs. <laughs> you don't get as many views. No, because Durs, Durs, it's okay, Durs. Durs you're not good content, no. Durs. Durs, you're Durs, shit Durs, content. It's okay, to, oh, okay to not be good views because no ben, one likes you ben anymore. Shapiro has a lot of views, and that doesn't make him good. You have less views. Than Ben Shapiro, you little cat. <laughs> uh, you guys are all losing to a cat. So, who? You. Wow. Three of you. I don't. Even I try. don't upload. So <laughs> I don't even try. Yeah, I'm not, if I was trying, it'd be different. Yeah, because <laughs> I would just get a better cat. <laughs> Nick thinking back to like every Wednesday making a thumbnail. <laughs> I'm not even trying, bro. I'm not even trying, bro. Don't put the effort in. <laughs> this Imagine I did though. Do you or do you feel cheated that you that you that cats just win? No. You feel bad? I feel you great. You tweeted about it. You're like, damn, I've been trying to crack YouTube for fucking years now. Apparently, it's just cat town. Well, I'm now I'm like, now what? Now, like, I can't keep using this cat forever. 17 videos. Pretty long time. Well, it's not, I haven't, it's not 17 of the cat, but it's more like I think a rising tide raises all boats. Rising cat raises all cats. Amen. Did, did, did you do that Reddit recap offline? Online. There's no chat. There is not chat on screen, but chat exists, and I talked to But why to didn't you put it on screen? Screen. I stopped doing it. I don't know because uh -huh. they don't—they don't offer that much value, and it takes up a lot of screen. <laughs> you like, hear that, viewers? I, they don't. I no, mean, the chat has that much value. The chat moves so fast, and the messages are just there. And then half the like, there'll be a comment that's like, "Dude, I, someone said gay at seven thirty-two, and that's like the whole value of the chat." Yeah, the, it's just the, the, something to point and be mad at. Yeah, which is what I've always said about chat. So maybe I've been right this whole fucking no, time. No, are I you slime pilled? No, I'm actually no. switching now because I don't yeah, want to be slime go. I don't want to be slime. You've come around, the chat back. I every don't. one of you has come around to fucking being me, and it feels so no, good. None bro. Of, who is the closest to you? Uh, Nick. Actually, maybe Eamon. <laughs> you Amen. You guys are that. in a horse race to be the closest to me. I'm just you just you just say like one cynical thing and he goes you're me. <laughs> no, oh my not, god. No, it's not one cynical thing. It's someone coming to me and saying, "Bro, I'm fucking. You're right. I'm slime pilled. That's a little different, Nick. And you've said that. You're right. You're right. As my friend, sometimes we agree. When did you say that? <laughs> when did you say I'm slime pilled? Uh, just now. Oh. <laughs> What's your lightning story? My lightning. Yeah, story? I thought it was cool, and you uh, when he brought it up. It sounds cool, huh? Yeah. What, when did this come up? Was it me and you or me and you? I don't know what you're talking like, about. Yeah, I was, I maybe it was, know. I think it was during the DCOM episode. I was like, oh, bro, I got a story about lightning Oh, strikes. it was me. It was me. And I was like, I, I was like, did we tell this on the podcast? We have a sheet that I haven't looked at. We paid someone to like write down all the stories we've ever told. So we don't really? repeat. Oh my God, really? Oh, you mm -hmm. guys this before. Yeah. You're like him yeah. now. I've it's never cool. seen this in my life. Yeah. Well, you also, would, you we have the same the for advice. Sorry, I'm we have the same for advice. Anyway, uh, so it reminded me of this time where in school, I feel like I've told this before, but fuck it, we'll, we'll go again. Uh, in school, my friend Robert, who, he was the guy who uh, busted on the mirror. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Legend. Um, <laughs> well. Great guy. Legendary guy. <laughs> and, yeah. And at the time, <laughs> we had this bit in, I think, eighth grade where we'd put our, uh, we put our hand in our shirt. And then pull our elbow out, right? Yeah. You put right. your hand on your neck. <laughs> That's yeah. silly. And you only got one arm. Yeah. Ah! I look like Chuby's depiction of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so, so we did this thing, and we would do it all day. Where you, we you guys go like spit on people in wheelchairs too. Actually, help Just me help me do both. Thing. Help me do both. 
Okay. <laughs> it's harder to look at a 30 year old man do this. Shut the fuck up, Ludwig. It's just harder. No one fucking asks you what it's hard to look at. <laughs> gotta move my mic. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Okay, so so this is how it works, right? You're good. So, and uh, and so, no, dude, you audio it. audio Bring listeners. <laughs> Simon is sitting <laughs> sitting with his arms tucked inside his shirt, so that only his elbows are sticking out of his t-shirt. So it he looks, looks like, like he both has Beavis and Butthead. And so we go looks up, like he's a T-Rex. We'd go up to each other with this configuration and like be like ah, and like try to hug each other. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks really funny, right? So anyway, we're Eighth doing this. Grade. We're doing this all day. And uh, and we're in the lunch room, and this fucking Robert's like, bro, uh, put do the arm thing, but wave over at we'll call her Jenny. He's like, yo, go wave over at Jenny, and I'm like, okay, and uh, and I do it, and I'm like, hey Jenny, and I'm like, she stands up, starts crying, and runs out of the cafeteria. And I was yeah. like, I was like, yeah, what? she's gonna have some sort of family member. I was like, what happened? Like, uh oh, I get called to the office within the hour. Sure. I'm in big trouble. I don't know what the you're fuck. still doing it in the office. <laughs> 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 I, like, I don't. The, 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 the person peeking to the door. Dude, What's up, y'all? <laughs> in the hey office, guys, I need help opening this one. <laughs> the woman at the desk is like, "Can you sign in?" And he's like, <laughs> "I can't." Did you go to the principal's office. She's also doing it. She's like, "Hey." hey. <laughs> Could you sign in and be like, you know, you heard of me, bro. <laughs> you heard what I did. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm, co- I'm coming back. Actually, I'm stuck like this. This might be a whole episode thing. All right. So, so, so I go in the office and Jenny's there. I'm there and I'm like, what is going on? And then the principal's like, sit down. And I'm like, oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, you're fucked. Apparently, <laughs> this person very recently had her father lose an arm to an electricity accident oh (laughs) yeah and it was something that has like torn their family apart like like so recently and i am presumed to have known this and did this to fuck with her (laughs) well to be fair why the fuck else would you be doing it (laughs) Because I have been doing it all day, and in science class, I could, I literally could like. She's got a good case. I was like, bring in, bring in the fucking science teacher. We were doing this shit, and we got yelled at. <laughs> bring right. like it's bring a it. court case. In, the, in it, dude, like, like Phoenix, right? It's like bring in my first witness. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I just find this really funny. <laughs> it's Phoenix, right? He's trying to point, but he has like the, the sleeve is just drooping past his arm. That's not there. Do you win the court case? So, no. So I, 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 I narc and I'm like, Robert told me to do this. Wow. Because I'm like, fuck this. No, I don't deserve to get in trouble here. And that motherfucker knew. So he's the evil oh, one. Yeah. That's a solid narc. Wow. It, it, I, you got set up. I have to. I got set up yeah. and I didn't know. if. Wait, if, did Robert say like wave to Jenny? Yeah, no, that's what oh, I just said. Right, 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 Ludwin right, right, under right, bears. Right, right. It's very different if like, if like you both came up with the plan and got caught and then you narked on him. Like that'd be like, you're a narc. But because you keep set you up. <laughs> He he fucking yeah. he he said hey go walk into that dark room and it was filled with mouse traps and I just started rolling around for a half hour trying to get out <laughs> and so so yeah uh, so basically I I narked and I said yo he told me to do this he gets brought down we both get in school suspension I almost got out of school suspension which is like the 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 step right before getting fucking kicked out of school because it's like he's severe like, bullying he's like hey man what me and you did that was fucked up Bo- <laughs> both you and i Dude, it was <laughs> fucked up and like as a as a principal you gotta like you know lay the hammer down it's like you can't just let you can't just believe this kid um so you know i i may be i may have been a little shit but i definitely okay here's the thing I'll, i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest here if if robert had said hey do this because of this reason, I still might have done it. Ooh. I don't want to say that I'm the most innocent person in the world, mm-hmm. but I did do it unknowingly. I so. stand with Jenny. Yeah, shouts out. She's great. I hope she's doing great uh, and and her family and stuff. But yeah, so that was that. That was what happened, and it, this came up in a decom because someone got struck by lightning, or we joked about it, and I was like, <laughs> and I just thought about my principal <laughs> fucking sending me to Shadow Realm. I can't. I don't think I, I said this in the pot, but th- th- when I was in middle school, there was this girl who was in front of me. Uh, she sat like right in front of me, and she was always like, like really mean, and like, and uh, she always talk. She would always just talk about like being violent and like random shit. And I was like, oh, she's crazy. That's crazy. And uh, I had a water bottle that had a hole in the bottom of it, and I was like spraying water around, and uh, I sprayed it on her, and then I hid the bottle. 
And she like turn around. She's like, she like, doesn't know what she's happened. Like, it's annoyed. And I'm like, okay. Turns back. I do it again. And uh, and she's just like, what the fuck? She's like looking around. And then uh, I I <laughs> I do it like a bunch of times. She's like, now she's riled up because she can't figure out what the fuck's like, where it's coming from, but she knows it's happening. And this is a kid next to me named Ryan. And I go, hey, you should spray her with this bottle. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you're Robert, bro. Oh yeah. wow. my God. And he's like, "Oh, that's funny." Okay, and like he doesn't really know her that well. <laughs> he goes, he sprays her with the bottle of smile on his face. She turns around, she sees him holding it. So yep. she's like, "He's been doing this oh. all day." And she turns around and she fucking clocks him. She just punches him in the face as hard as she can. I like that. And he starts crying. Yeah, yes. And and a bunch of people in the school started calling him crying instead of Ryan. Wow. And I was like. Fuck. Dude, you're a terrible human. I did human. not think that would happen. Wow. And but then I, I went like, home that weekend and started forest fire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, fought, we like beat this old man in the crowd. Look, man. We threw we, a we, cinder block off the fucking 110 we freeway. We haul out with my buddies later that year. <laughs> I was dropping grand pianos on people. And they if go, you got clocked in the face, that would have changed your life. Do you think so? No. What if you got, what if you got <laughs> clocked in the face by that person and then you were crying? And then everybody called you crying. I, I wouldn't have cried because I'm, I'm a <laughs> real street gangster. You're, you're a young street soldier. Yeah, I wouldn't have cried. <laughs> Unless it was a tattoo of a teardrop, then I might have one of those, but it wouldn't be real tears. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what's funny? Say, same guy, Robert. He did the same. It was kind of the same exact situation. It was on the bus, and it was this kid named Nathan who wore like really big baggy pants with like chains on them. Mm-hmm. And Nathan was fucking with me and Robert. And I was I was a little bit of a weakling. Robert was a nice guy even though he busted on his mirror a lot. Where <laughs> he like he like protected me. He was really really strong and he worked out all the time for like a high school or a middle school or even. What you I bust? think it was high school. And uh <laughs> hey, cuz so we, we were made friends. <laughs> He was a handsome guy. He wasn't that handsome, but he he he, he got his because he was just so Dude, full of confidence. Denver five and a huge <laughs> chest. Grand Junction eleven, and he was great. I didn't grow up in Grand Junction, by the way. <laughs> college there. Anyway, <laughs> fucking, we're on the bus, bro, and we're about to get off. Uh, sorry, we're, we we just got on the bus, and Nathan's like fucking with me. He's like he's like he's sitting in front of us. And he's like turned over, you know, like how you like drape over. Yeah, he's, like, with he's his, got no arms. With his, <laughs> <laughs> his and, and, and I was like, well, I'm not saying shit about this because who knows what tragedy has befallen his family. And he's like, and he's like, hey, you know, he's, he's like kind of like flicking papers at us and shit. He knows not to fuck with Robert because Robert's crazy, and uh, and his brother had huge tits. <laughs> Was, were, he, was he handsome? They were so no. They were so big, bro. <laughs> a Grand Junction too, but he got huge tits. What's your rating? His brother had huge tits. <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy too. Anyway, so he's doing this shit, and Robert <laughs> just fucking cocks back, boom, right in his forehead. And, and I watch this kid. I watch him, and it's, he he literally does this. Body of yours, you're gonna be mad. But he's like, it takes a bit for it to register, and he's like. Oh no! He's holding his forehead like how a toddler cries. Yeah, he like had to register that this really hurts, and he's embarrassed. And uh, and yeah, just got fucking. So ooh. he did that. He did that. This mode. What's that? Did he punch like this? Was he in, <laughs> was he in elbow mode? <laughs> no, that's what I keep this was years after <laughs> Ludwig. Time. You guys didn't keep doing it. The whole time he's just fucking. <laughs> he did. Yeah. He he went to school like this for four years yeah, straight. But Dude, it's, like, <laughs> it's like a police lineup, and it's like who done it? <laughs> <laughs> One of them is just with the arms and the shirt. <laughs> yeah, and he's like looking shy. <laughs> That's not our guy. Maybe he <laughs> That's not couldn't, our be guy. Him. couldn't be him. Maybe he's just so strong that nobody made fun of him for it, you know? And who? he could keep doing that through all of high school, Robert. Yeah, no, I don't think that was the case. <laughs> Man, he's a nice guy. The mirror was weird, but <laughs> <laughs> he's great. There's gonna be a lot of people in kind of, hey, what's the mirror story? Just go back, find it. Just go find it. That's honestly enjoy your journey through that's the That's a yard. hard ask. Why would you jerk off onto the mirror, dude? <laughs> because he thought it was funny. Why would you bust the And mirror? and now I think about it and it was funny. And I shouldn't have judged yeah, him for that. You're right. We all got a bus mirror. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bus mirror inside Robert's us all. one of us. Doesn't everyone have that? Everybody has a cum sock or a cum mirror. You know? <laughs> <laughs> one or the other. Everyone's got a sock, cum fireplace, or a cum mirror. You, know, you, have, one, you have one of the three. <laughs> cum fire is most efficient, but most people can't afford it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to so get the wood. It's annoying. <laughs> anyway, pops them real fast, and the whole bus ride, Nathan's like, he's like really mad, and he's just like, <sighs> and he's like kind of sobbing. <laughs> And uh, and we get home. He lived like down the street, and I was hanging out at Robert's house that night. 
And his parents called Robert's parents like, yo, your kid fucking punched mine. And his mom was like, yeah. And then she like pretended to ground him over the phone, but was like, it's okay. I know that you don't like that guy. So <laughs> yeah, that's was, real. That's wow. trailer park Where's shit. Robert now? I don't know. The last time I talked to him, he sent me like a Jesus loves you chain message on fo- uh, Facebook. Tight. So I hope he's- Did you, he, did he you send it to five people? No. Dude. So he's going to heaven and you're not? Yeah. He'll be punching nerds in heaven. That's tight. <laughs> Dude, seventh grade at, at our school, scooping was like the biggest thing in yeah. the world. Oh, Me too. What's yeah. scooping? Scoop like, oh, yeah, yeah, stop it. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> I actually think that bit is better than audio experience. <laughs> I think <laughs> that might be the first best audio bit. Scooping is like, it's it's terrible, but everyone's doing it to like, to like random guys they barely even know. Uh, and then like joking about like, oh, we're going to do it. Hey, you're squeezing. <laughs> Yeah, I had puffy nipples. So you're I not still doing do. it. You're not doing it. You Stop puffers, it. I have puffers. I'm scooping you. No, you're, not, you're, I'm just scooping you. <laughs> you're just grabbing me. You're just grabbing me. And uh, and then one time we had a really sweaty band teacher. And he... he Miss he, Sweaty like he really tried hard he at would, band? No, like he would physically just be drenched after a lesson. He just sweat a lot. I think mm. he had a sweat thing. Mm. And he would have sweat glands right under his breasts. <laughs> <laughs> and they would just they would just take so, it. Oh, so if you brother, wanted, you're, you're leaning over that, 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 that you wanted a wet scoop. scoop. <laughs> so they but they were primed. It was like cuz the, the best part about scooping or the hardest part about scooping is making sure you go right under the nipple and yeah, then lifting there. That's a get in get out situation. And you man. know where the line is. He has like he has his, <laughs> he has his like a own legend of Zelda. He basically eye. has a, he, he basically has a scoop me here zone. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. like and it's like this is my hitbox. Hit it three times and I die. Yeah. And eventually one of the students I think Jonah just goes up to him and just walks by and every time you scoop you have to go scoop. <laughs> And we're in the we hall. We didn't have that rule. We're in the <laughs> hall. And it's, and it's my class because I was in band and we get out and then he walks out <laughs> and, and he has like clipboard and left arm and his, and his, and his right is so supple. Ooh. And then fucking Jonah goes up, goes scoop. <laughs> Whole like school turns. <laughs> like SpongeBob yeah. all the fish. <laughs> and then start laughing at him. Oh, and dude. he hurriedly walks to the teacher's office and then Jonah gets called to the principal's office. <laughs> he narked. <and, laughs> He scooped me. Yeah, <laughs> and it's and it's the and it's the teacher telling the this principal. This students <laughs> Prince scooped me. Prince scooped me. <laughs> That's so awesome. The next year, we had a new band teacher. No, he left. Oh my god. Yeah, he left that year. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> he got bullied out of school. Yeah. The he thing he is- couldn't stop performing Moonlight Sonata. He was just <laughs> depressed. <laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? Today we're gonna. <laughs> and he's like, he's gonna fly. <laughs> Someone goes to grab. <laughs> I also think he might have stolen my trumpet. The teacher? Wait, can you do the scoop noise again? Scoop. <laughs> yeah, I think the teacher stole my trumpet. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, fuck it, right? Fuck these kids. What? And then we and then we got it back because we went to the Goodwill dressed like old men and got the discount. That was a saxophone, but yeah, same shit. Uh, you're always talking. The thing is, you're always talking about my butt. <laughs> it's not your business. It's yeah. my mm-hmm. business. Uh-huh. You know? Mm-hmm. And also, right. what is my business is what I put on my butt. Isn't it my business, though? A little tushy. Do you think it is? I'm going I'm to. Do you think that was okay what you just fuck did? You tonight. Oh, <laughs> now I'm the I'm guy that that see, happened this is to. I'm going to fuck this you is, on that fire. This is what happens when we have bit. sponsors. We introduce them like that. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that crazy? We have a sponsor? Yeah, we have a sponsor. And that's how we're going to bring it in. Oh. The sponsor is Me Undies. Oh. Okay? Yeah. Me Undies. Make the softest fabrics you've ever put on your body. Oh, right. no, I'm just oh, reading, you're it reading it off the thing. I'm reading it off the thing. You said you, you said you had the Matrix. I did have, not, the you don't have the Matrix. I brought bro. it in. Bro, Look, don't. In the you, you can't talk about me on discomfort. You want to know why? why? Because I'm the one wearing the shits right now, bro. I'm what? wearing the shit right now. And you know what? I came up here. I came up here and I was like, I'm going to shill for a sponsor today. I'm going to say some bullshit. But I put them on and I was like, God damn, these are actually pretty comfortable. Are they? I think they live up to the goddamn comfy name. That's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. Uh, yeah, our sponsor is Me Undies. They make underwear for your genitals and your butt. Yeah, also your balls where, as where well. That's where it goes, yeah. basically. So, yeah, they also have bralettes and loungewear. Well, socks. What is a bralette? Uh, it's socks. like the thing that girls wear. It's like not quite a bra, but it's like a fabric and it, it was worn as a bra. I don't okay. think it has the support that like a regular bra this does. This is why only 10% of the people who watch us are women. No, that's not true. We're we're trying to figure out Literally, answers. We're not saying bralettes true. are stupid. We want to know. I want to learn. Factually That's true. what women want to hear. They want to hear that I want to learn. <laughs> Do you know how much fucking credit I got for waxing my <laughs> body? 
from Actually, women. so much. I'm a hero. Cutie did talk about you as a hero. But Look, they, they underwear. have okay underwear, socks, socks. bralettes, loungewear. You're trying to get fucking comfy. Trying to get trying to slip into a little comfy outfit before bedtime. Got a little footy pajama socks. I, I don't know if they have those. I hope they do. Uh, and then on top of that, they have a membership that you can join uh, for 30% off of everything monthly. So it's a monthly subscription. That's actually hype for people like Ludwig who literally run out of underwear because he yeah. refuses to buy them even though well, he has yeah. more money than Jesus well, Christ. Well, I'm down to 14 pairs and when I run out of my 14 pairs, I go commando until I do laundry, but not yeah. anymore. Yeah, I, because you'll have an endless have, supply well, of me No, no waiting because I went to meundies.com forward slash the yard. <laughs> I also Don't ever interrupt me. I Aiden. also lose underwear all the fucking time. So I mean, that's the sponsor of this episode, guys. Get fifteen percent off your first order and a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee. Go MeUndies. to meundies.com. Also, you know, I will say <laughs> meundies is I filled out your form to for product and you only sent us one. I thought you were gonna send a lot, so we want more because I want all my boys to yeah, be comfy. Yeah, I want. So I want some briefs. So I need me some undies. Briefs. We're beefing. I want some dark briefs because I have a lot of underwear with skid marks right now. That is some- actually true. By the way, MeUndies.com forward slash yard. <laughs> Bye. That is actually true. Going back true. to the episode. Going back. Bye. Thank you, MeUndies. Thank you. 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 Thank like nah or dead because he's old right but. yeah my uh yeah my in my my history teacher middle school got like fucking put in put in not convicted i think there was a, a story about him in the paper and i don't know if he like went to jail or not but same shit child porn on the school computer wow i, I think he was trying to see like if my parents were close <laughs> to see if i was a potential next target for yeah him, yeah you know? That guy, that guy just chat where he eats too. Yeah, he did. God, I have <laughs> some respect. I don't, huh? I don't have a lot of faith in public <laughs> teachers like IT people, but I have enough faith that they'll catch that. Yeah. That's an easier one. Yeah, they'll stop us from going on albinoblacksheep.com and then they'll go, oh, Mr. McGillicuddy fucking they certainly never is looking me. at weird oh, shit. Dude. I, like, I had a visceral like string of nightmares when I was in middle school because, okay, so I had, I had a computer class. Do you have computer class in, in school? Yeah, we had tech. It was yeah. run by a guy mm. named, I can't, I, I don't keep saying names, but he was very tall and he bobbled his head when he was mad. Like, excuse me, Anthony. Oh, I can see it. And he, and he kind of had, it's kind of like the way Myth pretends to be you. It's very funny. And one <laughs> is it, time. Is I, he like the um, the guy who collects piss and workaholics? That's, that's what I have in my head right now. Best test than Wes Robbie? Yeah. No. Okay. It was more, it was more bobbly. But one time I was trying to say the word organism in his class and I said orgasm and everyone mm. laughed at me. Anyway, go on. That probably shaped who you are right now. Um, yeah. So I, I was in the I come like crazy. Now. I was in computer class. <laughs> That's not what you meant by in that. computer <laughs> class. And my computer class was basically like fifty computers, and like the teacher at the very front, and everyone's at that computer. We're supposed to be fucking doing like fucking Mavis Beacon and shit. And um, and I was just on a was it cool math games? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was on cool math games, and I'm just fucking playing like fancy pants or whatever. And uh, the teacher has the ability to like go to everyone's computer. Like on their computer and see what they're doing. I didn't know this. And uh, he sees my computer, sees I'm playing games. And there's like this fucking, it felt old at the time, graphic that he's able to put on my screen to lock my computer. And the whole computer fills with red. And then there's these silver chains that go down. <laughs> and the whole the whole computer is like red and chained. And it happened to me while I was playing. And I was like, and I was like, what? it was That's it terrifying. was so surreal and weird. And I didn't know what was happening. And I was like, what did I do? What did I do? And then he, he comes over and he's like, "What were you doing?" And I'm like, "I can't lie. You fucking chained me." I'm like, "Why is that?" <laughs> and uh, for like a string of nightmares I had in middle school, I kept seeing that image. Wow! And I couldn't get it out of my head. It reminds me of like how on TV <clears throat> when it's like a virus infects a computer and they need to display to yeah. the audience it's like a skull in a mailbox <laughs> like arr, 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 arr. yeah it starts bleeding like, like the virus <laughs> they added an animation yeah. inside of it yeah it's like oh the, the computer virus is getting us and the skull's like laughing and it's like you're gay you're not gay <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, computer owner like said the what? one in a, <laughs> like the guy in Jurassic Park when uh, when he hacks the computer system what it's been a while it's it's the guy from Seinfeld right yeah, yeah, that guy, and uh, he comes up, and he comes up on the screen. He's like, ah, ah, ah. oh, that's right, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that line where he's like, "See, nobody cares," because that's what we say now to each other. You say that mostly. You say that. I figured out inspect element in high school, and then I changed it to Hall's Brooklyn Fart School. That's a great. One. That's a great one. It doesn't work these days. <laughs> that was oh. really and then in parentheses, scoop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That got the whole school right. Dude, riled. I can't stop thinking about that fucking, that sweaty guy that you just described. 
Because he reminds me of uh, my health teacher in school. He was weird. He threw a chair at James once, and that was crazy. Because he would get real emotional, and the kids would just fuck with him just That's try to make fucked. him cry yeah it was Dude, fucked kids up are so mean but he was he was money because he let us watch monsters inc i watched monsters inc like five times in his class <laughs> too many times and i was like no so many times. no it's great because he was like yeah check so that, check this guy's computer because he was weird he was super weird and he didn't do his job and he'd teach about shit but we watched monsters inc all the time played dominoes my friend jj and we say domino motherfucker like in austin powers we play we play monsters inc we play titties out in math class we play <laughs> Uh, cool math games. We yeah. play how long your penis. All right. <laughs> how how do you guys think Mike Wazowski would put the condom on? <laughs> <laughs> would he do it with his mouth? <laughs> Beep, mop. Do you guys ever get your your backpack burritoed? You told yeah. us about this, yeah. Yeah. You just like in, inside out that shit. It's fucked God, up. It's so fucking monstrous. Dude, you, you show up, you see your backpack, you go, you go to the bathroom, you come back, your backpack's inside out, <laughs> all your shit's on the inside. You're yeah. just like, fuck. Who pink socked my school supplies? Oh. <laughs> What's oh pink sock? God, it's fucking <laughs> gross. What's pink sock? Yeah. Oh, Bend summer over. child. Bend over, kiddo. Bend over, kiddo. <laughs> it's when you, uh, you got, it's called the prolapsed anus. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Okay, it's that. It's just a slang for that. Oh, so you can't do it to someone. No, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you can. <laughs> In fact, fuck? that's how it happens. Is it? It's it's done to you, right? Yeah. <laughs> but like, I mean, like as a school prank. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not. It's I'm not gonna stop a bunch asking of, questions. It's not that's putting a bunch I've of sporks decided. in the football field, but it could be a prank. I'm gonna stop asking questions. Slide. Yeah, we prolapse our band teacher's anus. <laughs> and we said, "Scoop." <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Zipper loves that one. You think middle schoolers are all like? Making content, and uploading thumbnails of like going to school. Yeah, man, it scares crazy? me. And then they're th they're looking at Ludwig, like fucking, uh, like God, what's his name, the Minecraft guy. Uh, fuck, I'm gonna get Steve. No, Fundy, <laughs> Fundy, Fundy, who I described the other a couple episodes back. He's like, yeah, I watch you and Ludwig's videos, like how to fucking we studied those, try how to be funny. Same shit's happening, but they're doing it in the cafeteria, prolapsing mm -hmm. each other, doing <laughs> meth before grade school. Mm -hmm. Fucked up. I did it. Country's when I, fucked up. I was sixteen. I made a, a vlog when I went to school because we had like a like a like, like face a tamper. fun day and we did tie dye. You ever watched face, face tamper goes to school? No. Day in life. You ever watched that one? No. How old was face temper when that happened? I think he was like a sophomore in high school. I think I think we're the same age. But he was in phase, right? So he had like some cool. Factor. Yeah, phase had like twenty thousand subscribers. It was a huge deal. Cigarette yeah. burns on his chest and shit. And he just it was. It's a terrible video. <laughs> <laughs> just going to school. There were two people <laughs> in my high school at 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. You, were, you, were you jealous as fuck? No. What did they, they upload? Did it, they lip synced to videos and they did oh, the fake smosh lip singing rap. music videos. Mm -hmm. And I, I was like, this is not that great. You think the Smosh guys are like slamming 30 year old fans nowadays? They are so public in terms of the content they create. They're not like gone. Are you saying 30 year old fans like, 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 like fans that were ages? fans of them oh. at the time that are now 30 like me? No, I think I think, I think that the, Anthony at the very least yeah. of Smosh is still very popular. Anthony Anthony is super popular, relevant. His current show hot. is huge. <laughs> oh, it's and hot. very hot. Yeah. He's very hot. And I think so Ian's handsome. also still part of Smosh, which is doing well enough. Well yeah. that I hey, what's Fred up to? Like, hey, it's Fred. <laughs> no, the other Fred. Pit and off the radar. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Off the radar? Off the radar. What? He made a bunch of movies and now he's off the radar. Fred, if you're out there. Fred for the podcast. <laughs> the next podcast guest, Fred. Does Dude, the your voice, voice is normal. normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah everyone fuck, says man? that. He starts chain smoking. Yeah, <laughs> he he gets oh, on. He's like, his voice like is this. really deep. He's like, you know who uh, who's else voice is fake? He's like Lily. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking flip the fireplace. <laughs> I fucking start knew jumping it. around They're both in the same weird AA. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. We went to me and Aiden went to Battle of. Uh, B O B C B B C. Yeah, they all went to Canada. Canada. We, we went to Canada, mm -hmm. and it was fun. It was like a, it was a tournament for melee and, and Smash Ultimate that was very. Uh, it was like small in terms of the number of entrants, but it had like huge hitters, which was crazy. Mango was supposed to go, but he didn't end up going. Mm -hmm. But then, and fucking then left him like you chic and like beat fucking Zane, which was crazy. If you guys like understand melee or don't, that's pretty big deal. And it was really fun. I had a really fun time. I wanted to talk about a, someone who was annoying, but also it was funny. And I want to preface this with two things. There's like 50 people that came up to me at, at this tournament, all super nice, super 
fucking fine. Everything was great. Had conversations, had like well, little fist bumps, pictures. Everything was great. Most of the time, I'm nice and people are nice. And I'm only telling this story because it's funny and also fuck this person. You gotta avoid, and, the, you gotta and, avoid the comment section? No, I'm not. I'm just trying to paint the picture that most of the time sure. things are pretty good. 98% sure. success rate. I think I know Take I know who this is and also... No, 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 no. It's not that it's person. It's not that person? But we can talk about okay, that okay, person. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 96%. It, shut up. This person comes <laughs> up to me. Is going you so have, you have something to do with this and it's... Oh, God. It was such, it was such a whiff. This person comes up to me. Yo, Slime, what's up? And I was like, hey, how's it going? Like, yo, I just want to say, dude, fucking love the content. Like, two and a, uh, one and a half hot guys got me into Melee. Yeah. One and a half hot wow. guys is Ludwig and Mikey's co uh, commentary compilation when they were at Runback? It, it was our duo name. It was your duo name, and I'm not in it. Mm -hmm. It's literally Ludwig and Mikey. And I was like, I'm not in that. And the guy freezes up. He's like, no, no, like, I'm pretty sure you are. <laughs> he, he says, yeah, you are. And That's I'm awesome. like, and immediately, like, I'm like, you fucked up. Because I had to poop, so I'm already trying to move fast. <laughs> so I just walk away. I just walk away. He starts following me. No, Slime, dude, no, please. Like, like, He's oh, got the YouTube dude, scrolling through dude, it. Dude, it was so fucking funny. Half is. of this is for the bit, but also it's like, you invoked Ludwig, and so I have a, a really funny reason to be mad at you. I don't really care. And I'm like, nah, -uh, mm -mm, you fucked up. Mm -mm, no, no, no picture. He's like, Slime, please, no. Come on, dude, come on. Mm -mm. And finally, I like let, let him go like 10 steps, and I turn around. He's like, look, dude, okay. I'm sorry. I just, look, I brought you something and I just wanted you to like see this thing that I brought you. And I'm like, okay, fucking sure, bro, but you fucked up and I got to poop, so you better make it fast. <laughs> Reaches into his backpack. He's like, I know on that one episode you had like a tiny bat. And you said like, oh, I'd love like a Chicago Cubs tiny bat. And he's like, and he brought it out and it's a Chicago Cubs tiny bat. And I said, this was my father's favorite baseball team. It's just going to remind me of my dead dad, which was true. <laughs> And also, Dude. and also, I didn't want to carry this shit around. And also, you're, you're I a criminal. Don't, no, I'm not a criminal. Also, I don't want my connection to my father be something that a random guy gave me who got the video wrong oh my God. that I'm not even in. So I was like, I don't want that. And he's like, okay. And I said, oh. it was nice to meet you. And then I just leave and I never talk to him. Oh, dude. You're, you're, wow. a, you're, a, you're wow. a weapon in person. That was brutal. I'm pretty fun. Every, uh, hey, can I, can I, again, what's what's the opposite of preface? Postface? Postface. Postface? Most of the people were really nice. I yelled at Ganabrader. Yeah, that was the one that I wanted I almost to bring made up. him fucking cry. Because he said, he said we could talk about it. Because we were talking the about Falco? it at the venue. Yeah, Gano Brader, the Falco player. I didn't Who know like, Brader has like, been a tree monster for years and years. Like, it probably would have been a yeah. little easier on him. I beat him, him at um, Smash the Record. Oh, yeah? He was part of my tour. Your, 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 your force. Your run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chillin's Mario. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Chillin. Hope shout out to Chillin, yeah. Yeah, shout out. We'll we talk about that a little mm -hmm. bit. But uh, yeah, Gano Brader, he's walking by with like fucking three of his friends. He's PNW, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, fuck P and W. No, ben, done, man. done. No, more like done. No, P U. Gary, this person yeah. walks by who like I don't P know. P and no W's. Dude, true. P and hey, weird. Pacific North weird. I fucking weird. hate you, Ganabrader. <laughs> He's uh, fine. He's walking by. I'm I'm like in this aisle way where a lot of people have to walk by charging my phone because it's the closest outlet and I can just charge my phone and like kind of hide. But I guess I was kind of in the way. But I don't want to fucking travel to charge this shit. Anyways, walking by. And he's like, yo, is that Northern Lion? He says that. Three of his friends start snickering oh, while walking. Man. The Kanker Sisters came It was Kanker you. Sister mode. And and I go, what? And he looks back and he's kind of like, <laughs> so I was like, uh, 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 come here. No, 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 come here. No, let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. <laughs> That's so funny. They all stop, turn around, and come back to me. <laughs> Dude, and I'm this like, is so awesome. And I'm, again, I'm in my mask, my hat, I'm charging my phone. I am like just alone in the world and I'm like, do you think that's funny? And he's like, well, no, no I'm just saying, like, am I like fucking cartoon character, dude? Because I, I genuinely feel this way. It's, it's, it pisses me off. This like, one's, this one's not, I'm on your side on this one. And, uh, and he's like, no, man, I didn't mean it. It's like, so why would you make that joke to someone you don't know? Like, I don't think that's fair. I don't say that shit to you. I don't say that shit to other people. I've never done that shit, which is true. I never did this, even when I was, like, fucking a rando Jimbo. You made fun of Jenny and her father's In lost Smash. Hand. Okay, okay, sorry. In a public place, anyway. <laughs> and so I, I just sit there, and I'm scolding them. And then yeah. all three of his friends are like, bro, we didn't say anything. It's all him. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Dude. 
And so now I and like, he has narc friends. And he has narc friends. I laser focus on him. I'm like, Robert told us to do it. Oh <laughs> my god! And so I'm like, yeah, dude, just like, a fucking that that pissed me off. So just leave me alone. He's like, I'm really sorry. I'm like, it's fine. And then they walk away. Yeah. He comes back. I'm talking to Sunse, and he like gets in the conversation, yeah. like standing around. I've cooled off a bit. Sunse is great. And I and I like finish my sentence with Sunse. I'm like, this guy and me are beefing. I explain the whole thing to Sunse in front of him. That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, and then I say, and I assume you like want to say something about this. So let's, you know, I'm here to talk about yeah. it. What's up? And he's just like apologizes again. He's like, I'm Ganabrader. And I'm like, fuck, I didn't know, man. I'm sorry. Like we do kind of know each other online a bit. Yeah. Like, it's not totally unwarranted. Still pissed me off. And we like squashed it real fast. You know, I'm also a fast squasher. And uh, you are yeah. a fast squasher. Quick to rise, quick to squash. Quick to rise, quick to squash. I think that's mm-hmm. fair. Um, and then that was pretty much that was pretty much it. Yeah, he, he Everything came up like, to me after, and he was like, "Bro, I just had me, me and slime, me and slime are beefing right now because of <laughs> something I did." And he just explains the whole thing to me. It's like I knew as soon as I said it, I fucked up. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I'm just I'm just laughing because I've known Sam for a really long time. Like he's. He uh, is from Washington Melee, and he came to like all my first tournaments I ran since like 2014. We've been to a ton of tournaments together, so I know Sam's like a really good guy. Like I like hanging out with Sam and spending time with him, and he's also been like a shillionaire since fucking day one. Yeah, like, I don't know any of this, it. and this yeah. context does I, unfortunately randos like if 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 I like know of you. Usually Melee people like if Melee people are annoying to me online, SSBM in the name, I always give them a little bit of a break. Because I'm like, you know, we're part of the same, like, thing that we love. Mm-hmm. And and if I knew it was, like, Ganabrader, I'd be like, fuck you, bro. And, like, whatever. Uh, but I just thought it was some random person trying to fuck with me, which I hate. Also, Northern Lion, it's fine. It's just the idea of, <laughs> yeah. like... Yeah, to be clear, the insult is not that it's Northern Lion. It's just, it's just to yell at a guy you don't know and say something and be so laughed another at. another bald man? Yeah. Northern Lion's he great. Saves it. one of the best people to be compared he to. He saves it. True. He's like, it's not because you're bald. It's because you're quality of character. <laughs> and I was like, shut the fuck up, Nia. Because you have knowledge of food in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so that's what happened. And that was again. By the way, <laughs> the play, the the tournament was wonderful. Everyone was really, really nice, and uh, I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah I got, it was I'm sad tournament. I didn't go. Honestly, I got a DM I, from you, right? I think it was you. What? It was just a picture of a menu, and it said Inception Bomb, and it was like three liquors inside of themselves. No, that was Yangling. I think Yangling sent that to you. And that was, was that at the spot? Yeah, yeah at, at the, the club. So we we had a we had a ridiculous like saga of an evening. Me, Nick Yingling, Josh, and a bunch of other people on the last night. And, uh, yeah, I, I carved out some space to fucking talk about that. Because, uh, dude, uh, Nick Nick Yingling is... Let me start by saying Nick Yingling is insane. Like, an insane person to just go out with in general. I was this close to telling him fucking shut up during this trip. He, uh, Nick Yingling, if you're listening... <laughs> He just has to comment on everything sometimes, yeah. and I want to tell him, hey. Oh, yeah, you're getting yinglinged. Leave a gap. Leave a gap in the conversation, Nick Yingling. Leave a gap for who, Joe? <laughs> no, Candace. <laughs> you're just drinking, like, a beer. He's like, you like beer, huh? And it's like, I'm going to fucking kill you, I swear <laughs> yeah. to God. That's how I felt. That's how I felt on Monday morning. I, I was like, Nick, 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 I'm going to fucking strangle you. <laughs> That's, I was so ready to do it. And I did the same thing that you did. When we were, we finally get back to the parking lot at the airport to go home. And he makes one more comment. I stopped the car. And I'm like, say sorry. <laughs> did you drive me home? Really? Yeah. What did he say? I didn't hold out as long as him, though. <laughs> oh, you did this too? Dude, you know about this. We told you on the pod. Yeah, we did it when we came back I, from Genesis. I was mad at Aiden at the airport, so I, I parked my car in the middle of the fucking <laughs> yeah, parking Yingling, lot. And I said, say you're sorry, I'm he's not moving. Trying to I don't get remember out of this. The, he's trying to get out of the airport parking lot, and Yingling's just in the back. He's like, man, you're really getting owned by this parking lot right now. And Nick just <laughs> slams on the brake and says, say you're sorry. Say you're sorry, I'm not moving. I don't and then cars, this. Are, cars are piling up behind go, us. And, we and I'm go, like, say you're sorry, goes, I'm not moving. He stays <laughs> for minutes. And yeah. was, I love that. <laughs> Consequence. And then, and then on the way home, we were, we were really close to Yingling's house, but not really close enough to like get out and walk with your luggage, he but close it. enough where you can see it. He made and he said car. something again. And I, I parked the car again, and he's so tired. He wants to go home, but he's in the crossfire. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, you're walking home. I'm like, say you're sorry, or you're walking you home. You did this to Nick Yingling? Yeah. Ah! He's like, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying sorry. <laughs> and I'm like, your house is right there. You're either walking right fucking now, or we're staying right here. That is so <laughs> and fucking and, 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 funny, bro. looking over. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like, you don't get to be sorry. 
<laughs> Whatever you gotta do to move, dude, please. Because I was so I I I was so hungover when this is happening. So all I want is to go home. I've been silent the entire car ride. <laughs> Just let me be home. And Nick Gingley is like, no, I won't fucking do it. Like it's sitting in the back. I, and that is the thing about Nick Gingley. All that shit happened. He's still the same guy. You know what I mean? Yes, he doesn't sir. change up for anyone, and I respect that. Mm-hmm. So he's a national treasure. So I, I, I was up in the area. I didn't go strictly for Battle of BC. I was up in the area to see my family for my brother's graduation on the on the Friday, and I didn't get to spend very much time at the tournament. I just like drove up on Saturday to like hang out a bit, and I thought I wasn't going to come back. Uh, but on Sunday, I go to see my other little brother on Vancouver Island, and then I come back late after the tournament is over, and me, Anthony. Uh, are planning to go get dinner with Yingling and Josh. And then when I get to campus to meet them, we run into like Leffen and Zane and Jay Mook and they want to go out too. So they're going to come to the same spot. We later all go out to dinner and it's this like cool, nice spot. Everybody starts drinking then. Like people are ordering a lot of a lot of drinks, including, including Nick Yingling and Josh. And uh, after this place closes, we head to the bar down the street that, and we're in downtown Vancouver and we walk into this place and they're about to close but the waiter is Australian and oh, Josh latches shit. onto this and he's like yo you from Australia mate like like that yeah. and then the dude's like yeah it's fucking fucking New South Wales and he's like no way I'm from Bankstown you know he's like all right I'll get you guys for one like and so, a, so a little money. Australian charm to yeah. sit 14 <laughs> people down and, and get us drinks. Yeah, you're all cunts as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> and, and fucking Josh is sitting there and there's this playlist on. He's like, dude, this is an Australian b- band. And he's like, every verse and change in the song, he's like, it's about to do this. And he like makes a sound with his mouth and then it happens right <laughs> after. And we're sitting there like- Just a, knowing it, the song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just, but par- he's like, it's parents dogging. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some weird like Australian rock band. that uh, And then- Jets. Uh, the the waiter comes back up. He's like, "Dude, is this your playlist?" Like, they're just they're fucking hamming it up. Hype. The menu has this one thing on it called the Inception Bomb, and it just sounds like it's like a mixed drink with like three different types of liquor. So we all decide to order one, but the bartender starts making this, and we it's not a normal mixed drink. It is a pitcher with tears of drinks like it's fucking Super Mario 64 clockwork yeah. that clockwork mm-hmm. level there, there's, oh, a, there's a picture on I think Nick Yingling's Twitter yeah. yes yeah that Dude. like that you can see this it's really Nick weird Yingling's Twitter's the uh, most annoying thing by Zipper, the way to read during it. this cause it's like damn like my life a movie straight up like fucking 5am sunglasses and Advil last night was mad real <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck happened? Get to the end of this, dude. Get to the end of this night, and you will agree. Okay. <laughs> because, uh, dude, so the way this shit works is you like you start with a shot at the top, and when you lift that shot out, like the Jaeger falls into the other cup, and then you lift the other cup, and the last shot falls into the pitcher, and you drink it all in like order in like yeah. one go. And then the guy you're with becomes a giant suit of armor. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Everybody, everybody, fucking, fucking sinks this. And everybody is immediately drunk, like because a bunch of people uh, had were already drunk from the previous restaurant we were at, and this sends everybody into a different dimension. <laughs> and everybody starts describing how drunk they are by describing which scene in Inception they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. And he's like, I definitely the snow level. And Zane, <laughs> snow level. Zane is like, yeah, I think I'm in the hotel because I'm not quite snow level yet. <laughs> <laughs> and and everybody's just fucking plastered. But we have to get out of this place and we want to roam to like wherever the next bar is that we can find. And we leave. And as we leave, the uh, Zane and Leffen get stopped. They get recognized by somebody. And in the process of them being recognized by people who weren't even at the event that weekend, they didn't even know it was happening. They just knew who Zane and Leffen were. This random dude who was not with us at the beginning of the night in like a North Face jacket and a backpack just like joins our group no context yeah you got you got a collectible item nobody yeah. nobody knows who this guy is but we all think somebody else knows uh. who this is and they and they tag along yeah which is really funny because he <laughs> this third party the mystery man remains with us for the remainder of this night he comes to everything we do does he yeah. know like smash dude that was the that was the thing we didn't think he did because i asked him i was like because I assume he's one of the people who recognize Leffen and Zane because he joined around the same time. And I'm like, do you recognize them? Like, do you know them? And he said no. 
And I was like, oh, so this is just a random guy who wants to have a good time. He's, he's just like, I thought you guys you, seemed you, cool. He, you should be careful of that because people will approach uh, us and they'll like maybe online or something, pretend they don't know us. Yeah. And then yeah. like try to like go, what's up? And then you find out in, in a weird way later that they did know. Yeah. And they're trying to like be cool like they weren't a fan. It's like, just yeah. be honest. Same thing happened to Mizkiff. Weird he went ever. to Korea and a guy went up to him and, and he was like, oh, wait, like, aren't you Mizkiff? And this was like, yeah, you watched this? He's like, no, not really. Like, I think I just kind of saw you. And uh, and they like they chatted and all this. And then he hung out with him for the whole day. Mm. That same guy did the same thing to Pokimane three months later when oh. she went to Korea. Oh, and she, dude, bro. Just be like, honest. Watch Twitch, and he was like, uh, no, not really. Uh, but like, I was on Miss Kiss stream, and like, I'm the guy who like people think have sex with a lot of people because I was like a. It, that's how he yeah, that's how he described yeah, himself. Yeah, that's how he described himself. Wow, he sounds stable. Yeah, he's a terrible, <laughs> terrible. Wow. <laughs> that's so gross. Yeah. By the way, in the future, anyone listening to any situation ever, just be honest because it shouldn't matter if you watch Twitch. If he, yeah, if honestly, cool. if he was, if he was just honest at the gate and said, like, I, I don't even know if he was like really lying. Maybe he was just trying to like. We don't know for my question. question. Yeah. This he, is only but, this is only a relevant story because of this conversation. But I went to the Cinegear Expo last weekend it's like a big cinema gear like convention where like all the like new, the new ari alexa camera was there and like lights and stuff and there was so many <laughs> oh he you, you don't you don't like that camera do you think that's a cringe camera Dude, that's so tight that the ari alexa was there <laughs> anyway, anyway, you're I don't, being I don't, rude i don't care about this part i don't care about this part uh there was <laughs> I just think it's cool I don't fucking care anymore. I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Nick gets destroyed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Do they have the Sony A7 IV? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that I, is I, a good question. Yeah, no, no, it was cringe. I, it was cringe. I went out to get food. They That's, only had computer parts and like. That, that, it's funny because like, he's making stuff. fun of you, but I would actually want to know. I would. Did they talk about how better Resolve is at doing color? Yeah, they, they invented a new megapixel. <laughs> so like, like a Steve Jobs PowerPoint. Yeah, whatever, you wouldn't get it. Nick's, Nick's back in the Xbox Live call. Five fight for his life right now go on anyway there, there was a fucking weird amount of yard listeners there oh yeah i ran into like 10 people who were like oh i listen to, i work at technicolor and i, I watch the yard I'm like, shit like what the fuck like who are these people and someone came up and uh and they instantly were like oh i'm, I'm a big fan like blah blah blah. uh i, I would love to work on your stuff i i'm a gaffer lighter etc and i was like thank you for i i thanked him i said thanks for saying that first because i've had people not do that and try to get work from me, and it's weird. Just be honest. It yeah. doesn't matter if you like the yard. It just means that yeah. You I was. I told her. Now. I said like, I'm like, you're not asking for unsolicited advice. It's also not advice. It's like a, a fee it's feedback. But this was good. I, lo <laughs> yeah. I said I loved this interaction. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> it means a lot. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, random guy, Vancouver, random guy, three a.m. Yeah, and we we big have, Apple, we have a big we have a big group, right? It's like fourteen people walking. And uh, the first kind of like stop we make along the way to the second bar is by this van and it's for uh, raw rolling papers. And this dude is in the van selling weed out of the minivan in the middle of downtown Vancouver. That's chill. That's lit. He, That's my I, buddy Kyle. I don't know if it's, I'm pretty sure it's not chill. <laughs> was he, was was he like, coughing on he you? He definitely, the way he was talking, <laughs> the way he was talking to was like, definitely seemed like he was not supposed to be selling the weed out of the van. Got it. Yeah. The rolling papers are fine. That's why it's a rolling paper van. <laughs> I see. It's just and the papers. Well, I don't know what the, you can these do. These are with uh, it. moleskin uh, paper replacements. <laughs> They're made out of beaver tail, actually. <laughs> um, and these three guys are standing outside of the van. These, like, three kind of bro -y guys. One of them has a cowboy hat on. And Nick Yingling was way in front of us. He's already talking to these guys. He started up some sort of conversation. The dude in the cowboy hat comes across as the leader, if you will. Yeah. And he is so psyched to talk to Nick. And he's so psyched to learn. Like He's like the typical Canadian bro. He's like, oh, you guys are from the States. How is it down there? You guys are crazy. You got some guns down there. Like, <laughs> just, Yeah, <laughs> the one too. <laughs> yeah. Bet, bet. And, and talking about how like, yeah, we're just fucking, yeah, we live in Vancouver, man. I go to these clubs all the time. We get fucking drunk every weekend. Like it's- <laughs> it, Dude, he's the- he's the, uh, he's the uh, Outrageous fun. Outrageous fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boobies flying around. <laughs> <laughs> and we found out this guy's name is Callan. And he's talking about like, yo, it's it's country night at the Roxy. We're headed over there. Well, maybe we'll see you there later. And we like leave this interaction. But not before they get Nick Yingling's Instagram. 
That's a clue in Hitman. That's a, that's a clue in Hitman. You have to go to the Roxy. <laughs> yeah. Look the, for the guy you, in the toupee. You press F3 and you have a new way in to the yeah. Roxy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they exchange info and we go to this bar called like Dimes across the street. Not a lot happens at Dimes except people proceed to get significantly more fucked up. Arcade Everybody, bar? Everybody, no, it's just like a normal. Be place. You just have Everybody to be have to really to hot. Yeah, yeah, Calgary Seven. <laughs> Josh, <laughs> Josh breaks out at the table while we're there. The Get Up game, you know the what? one where he. Okay, have you guys played the Get Up game no. with Josh? Mm. So he does like he puts his hand on the table and he's like, okay, this is like this is knockdown. And then I, if I stand my finger up, it's Get Up. If I wave my finger like this, it's Get Up Attack. And if I do this, it's roll. And the Wait, first person this to is say just like it, manual analog melee. Yeah, and the first person to say the word of what it is like wins that <laughs> round. Of the, so it, we're is so Jay Mook really good we're at this? Chasing. <laughs> yeah, it's five of us sitting at one of the tables doing this. It's uh, and it's like me, Zane, Moki, Jay Mook, and Jay Mook's just crushing. Yeah, he says it so fast every <laughs> single time. It, so he, sick, he bro. says it like as Josh is still doing the motion. Everybody's like half a second behind. It's fucking insane that he's still killing the game, and he's also <laughs> wasted. Yeah, he's just built differently. Um, so we've we have to leave this place now, and we start we start slowly like spreading out to leave. I want to at this point. I'm I'm not drunk. I want to go home because our flight is super early. But Leffen it c will not shut the fuck up about going to a club. He's like, don't leave. We have to go to a club together. We have to go to a club together. He's like, look what I found. And he's like. This place Roxy's is right down the street. In my head, Cat, I know that it's country night at Roxy's. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. Let's go to country night. And <laughs> you put on a fake mustache and you're like, let's go. No, for, for once in your goddamn life, Aiden, you don't explain something and you see the beauty in not doing it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, let's see, let's see how our group of 15 smashers fare at the country night on, mm -hmm. at, on Sunday. Yeah. And we, the, the, you know, our whole group, guy who's just joined us, still like going going to this new place, and we go into the fucking country bar. It's it this place is fun. Like a lot of people are are there. It's packed, even though it's Sunday. It's pretty crazy. Music fucking blows, dude. I it's a bunch of old country like bangers, but I know like one in every three songs. Oh, like, honky every tonk, but donk it donk. It's actually <laughs> like slice of Nashville in Vancouver. It's so it's so <laughs> weird to experience. And uh, we're we're all hanging out at the bar, and Josh leaves the group. Like at some point, he stops dancing, which we're all kind of half dancing to country music. And I'm like, wonder wonder what Josh is doing. And I look over across the room, and Josh is talking to a girl at the bar. And um, as he and, does, uh, <laughs> yeah, playing the get up game, doing the get up game, and, game. <laughs> and this and this girl is like, what the fuck? Are you <laughs> Are we gonna have sex? Yeah. <laughs> You're really tall and handsome, but uh, this is so stupid. Josh, Josh has been a bit of a hound. And anyway, <laughs> a bit of a sea hound. Mm. He's he's talking to this girl at the bar. So I wander over because we've been there for a while. I can't fucking. I want to blow my brains out. I don't want to listen to the country music anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what about chicken fried? Do they play Gold chicken fried? Do they put like barbecue that. sauce on my white t-shirt? Yeah, they, that's a good one. That's, that's a real a, song. That's an Alan Jackson song. I think my sister's cute. <laughs> I, didn't, I did not I think, think my song. pickup truck's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you guys think you're funny. This is I what I grew up with, bro. My car. I I've fucking listened hate to it. so much country music. I, I listened really? to so yeah. much as a kid. I, yeah. Okay, gl I'm glad we're all on the same yeah. page. My ex oh. is from Jersey and pretended she was country. <laughs> my mom is like obsessed with country music. I just listen to it every day on the way to school. I'm so glad we share this misery. I've been to two country concerts. Really? Yeah. Dude, I went to Rock Jam in Grand Junction people fuck on the ground there like it's Calcutta. That's cool. <laughs> What's Calcutta? I, I want to see that. I don't think that happens in Calcutta. <laughs> I don't. It's just a, it's a George don't, Carlin bit. Don't you want to see that just once? But they do fuck on the ground. It's gross. <laughs> anyway, go on. In Colorado. It, at Rock Jam specifically. They okay. do that at Dave Matthews Dude, concerts what was too. that? What, what was the concert? We <laughs> saw a video bald. of that concert and some girl was getting eaten out in like a oh, wash pit. Oh, on Twitter, yeah. That's gross. <laughs> yeah, that was that, getting, yeah. that was pretty raw. You're getting sick. Bill Harmonic. <laughs> yeah, you, show. you know there's like fucking like kettle corn in there still. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out he's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> just in the merch line. I just want a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so I walk over to Josh and he's not just talking to the one girl anymore. It's her and her friend. Of course. And uh and T he chicks. introduces he introduces <laughs> me to them. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, I'm like nice to meet you and he's like this is Aiden 
It's his birthday. Oh. <laughs> Josh is so fucking stupid, charming, bro. I feel like he puts on extra Australian when he's talking to like girls. <laughs> this is Aiden. He's, he's his birthday. It's his birthday. And we need three of those in Oz. <laughs> I Dan in Oz, we wouldn't be drinking liquor right now. You know what we'd be drinking, right? The big ones and the big cans. Fosters, that's right. Do I get six? Oh, we love Fosters. <laughs> These girls are immediately before I could say anything like, "Oh, happy birthday!" Yep. Like, "Oh my god, happy!" It's so great, and I'm like, "It's, I, it's not my." And it's like they keep, and Josh just cuts me off. He's like, "So it's like, <laughs> what were we saying?" Like, I don't even get a chance to explain. And we're like halfway, we're halfway through the conversation, and he's like, he's like, "How about we sing him one?" And, it, and yep. he starts up happy birthday at the bar for me oh with these two God. girls like leading, <laughs> leading the song. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude, come on. Like, <laughs> and I, they, they leave. Mm. I also go back to our group for a while to see, to see uh, what's going on. And I, the country music's still going. It's gotten slightly it's country better. night. I, I, it's I, a night. It's not a country <laughs> hour. I don't know why. I think I come back to the dance floor. It's like maybe it'll be country music that I like, and it's just not. You just pay. You slip the guy a hundred to play one six nine song, just to, <laughs> yeah. just to flush everything out. <laughs> please, please play some XXX <laughs> Tentacion. Can you play Gummo once? Does bro? Old Town Road get in that playlist, or is it like? No. It, it, if it was there, we missed it. Mm. It was a lot of older. It's country authentic music. country night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not none pop, of that, none not of that pop fake country. stadium shit. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> and but I, I'm getting bored again, and I see that Yingling is on the other side of the bar as well as Josh again talking to this guy, and I meet this meet this man named Randy, and Randy is he. You know how there's those guys who clearly like clearly were nerds in high school but have developed some sort of like sense of what could be cool and like style and they'll go to like clubs or functions and be like they'll talk about girls a lot and they'll talk about like fucking girls do you do you the know you what the type of guy i'm describing like before yes i i met one of these guys in vegas yeah and he was like oh, yeah, 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 he was telling yeah. me, know, this is how you make moves on women I know and this shit exact- like that He's, they're trying to like prove that they've been doing this a long time. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But they haven't. But they have. Because anybody who has doesn't talk like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, and, it's embarrassing. And he, but he's, he's that guy, but he's Canadian. So he's still really like nice infused with it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I can't. I fucked <laughs> and, That's, that he, was your Canadian? I, I said bro. I shouldn't have said fuck. I had it up till that point. Oh, fuck. You just got to tell them that you think they look nice. Eh? That's Australian. Uh, Wait, what do you do? I'm poison. I'm poison. That was like Wisconsin, Australia. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that crap. Was- Oh crap! <laughs> Sorry, go this is on. This so all over the place. I, this yeah. is rough. I'm having a bad one. This is a I'm weak a- one. I've seen you do a good Canadian <laughs> accent before. It's the lack of arms. <laughs> he he's talking to Josh. He's like, dude, you're foreign. Like any girl here will fuck you, bro. They all they they all love that. <laughs> love Josh that. is rolling his eyes like, like, I know. Why are you <laughs> telling me this, gross fucker? But then he turns to me and he's like. You're a good looking guy, man. You single? And I keep saying, I'm like, no. He's like, are you sure, man? You single? And I'm like, no. He's like, I got 20 friends here. They've all been talking about you all night. They're all down to fuck you. And I'm like, you don't have to say this. He's like, no, man, I'm not lying. There's 20 women here. And and they're all talking about you. And he's like, you just got to be charming. And he's like, you're from Europe, right? I'm like, do I sound like I'm from Europe? Wow. uh, he just assumed I'm foreign because Josh is, and he keeps repeating the this same guy. thing. And then oh. Yingling, Yingling wasn't with us yet, and he walks over, and I'm like, you, I'm like, I'm telling him, is like, you don't have to lie to me to gas me up, dude. I'm fine. I'm having a nice night. I just want to listen to music. And Yingling comes over, and he starts saying the exact same shit to Yingling, it's so like bar weird. for bar. And then, and the Josh at some point has had enough of this, and he's like, Randy. It's Aiden's birthday. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and Randy does the same thing. He's like, no way. I'm buying us shots. And he goes over the bar, gets shots, and comes back over. And, and Josh starts up happy birthday. Oh, again. my God. Dude, dude. Like, he's coast in, to coast. He's in mother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's dead for war. It's in mother. Meanwhile, meanwhile Nick Yeeling is telling me about how his man, Cal- uh, Callan, with the hat that he met in the streets smoking weed, is here. And they've been hanging out all night. They've been, like, chumming it up. That's where Nick Yingling has been, because he wasn't dancing with us. And I, after all of this, it's like, it's almost 4. We have to wake up at, like, 6.30. I want to fucking leave. I want to go home. 
And I'm like, Josh, Josh, can we leave in a bit, please? Like, no more birthday songs, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, when's closing time in these places? I think this place closes at like five. That's insane. That's which is crazy. crazy. It's, it, it was a pretty like wild. Uh, on like, God's it night, still too. had a shit ton of people. It's too, two a.m. like everywhere Sunday. in America except Vegas, New York. Yeah. It's it's pretty. Uh, Two a.m. is like all right, time to go home. Yeah, yeah. Come on, kiddos, we got work in the morning. Like everyone, it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Josh, Josh is like, just give me a minute, let me say bye, and I'm like, I'll do the same thing. But Yingling, I'm talking to Yingling, I'm looking at him, and he's like, please come home, Yingling. Uh, your phone is dead. You're not going to be get able to get home by yourself. And he's like, no, no, I won't uh, come. He's like, you, you fucking cocksucker. That's what he said. Yes. To me. I said, you're. <laughs> you're I said, the same. I said, you're me right now. <laughs> And I'm like, please, dude, you don't have a phone. We're, we live far away here. Like, we're not, you can't walk back. Like, please come with me. He probably me. doesn't know the way back. He doesn't know that. I know he doesn't know the way back. He's also wasted. Yeah. yeah. And, but he insists on not leaving. And he I'm like, what it. can I do? What can I do? I'm like, okay. Nick, uh, Nick, please just write the Airbnb address down on a piece of paper and put it in your pocket so someone will call you an Uber Staple home when you want it to, to your shirt. And and he goes over to the bartender, gets this. I see him write it down. I know he has this piece of paper. He puts it in his pocket. And I, me and Josh go out of the place and we're waiting outside and Josh is like, we can't leave him here, man. Like, I'll do the convincing. I'll get him. to. And he walks back in. It's his birthday. Josh, <laughs> Josh, I see like through the door from outside, Josh talking to Nick like this, like leaning <laughs> over him because he's so much taller yeah. <laughs> and Nick just shaking out. his head. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to lip read it. And, and Nick, Nick, he, Josh comes out. He's like, there's no convincing that man. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, let's go. No, I'm not going. No, <laughs> and Can Candace will take care of me. <laughs> we, we Uber, we Uber back and we wake up the next morning and just like a couple hours. Yingling, thankfully, is the person who wakes me up. And I'm like, oh, good. Nick made it back somehow. <laughs> and I come out into the living room and he explains that he has just recently arrived back at the Airbnb and had been wandering the streets of Vancouver most of the evening. And he didn't have a charge on his phone, right? So he doesn't, and he couldn't find the paper that I saw him put in his pocket. <laughs> so he doesn't have the address. <laughs> He, after wandering around for like an hour in just downtown Vancouver, finds Callan again at a bus stop. <laughs> and he is like, oh, Callan. Like, and he walks over to him all excited. And he's like, give me your phone. Give me your phone. He pulls up in, in his phone. He is remembered that when they were talking the first time, he typed in the Airbnb address into Google Maps to show Callan where we were. And it is in recent search history on wow. Google Maps. So he pulls up the address and Callan calls him an Uber back <laughs> after after wandering around. And it's so resourceful of Nick Yingling. Nick Yingling's a hero. Nick Yingling, no, no, <laughs> Dude, no. Nick Yingling is standing in the living room up. and I'm like, holy shit. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you made it back. And Nick, I turn around, I go into the kitchen and Nick's like, oh, it's right here. And he pulls oh. out the piece of paper with the address written down. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, Nick? Yeah. And the only thing that stops me from getting fucking so angry at him is that he's like, wait, look. <laughs> and I turn, ar I turn around <laughs> in the kitchen and we look on the wall and it is this massive painted canvas of the club that we were at all evening on the wall of our Airbnb. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. You didn't steal that? Dude. How do you not steal that? Because the guy had two cats and he made me feed them. He, I, he, he literally, the Airbnb guy literally made me feed his two cats, and I was like, well. well now you have a good uh, uh, birthday present for Yingling. Go did you go online. to the club? No. <laughs> the funny thing, two things. Have you ever seen The Shining? Anybody? Yeah. 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 It's literally The Shining. Mm. Like, th that is fucking crazy. That you guys had that night, and then this whole time there was a painting, probably materialized overnight. Uh, and no. So what I did... <laughs> I had a stomach ache because I ate a smoothie in the morning. Well, tummy hurt, and my tummy bears hurt. Oh. And also, I'm antisocial, so I was like, right at the at the finish line when we go home. I'm like, you know what? I'm bailing. I don't want to go to dinner. Plus, there's like eight people now. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a huge thing, and it did turn into a huge thing. So I instead go back to the Airbnb, watch uh, videos on my phone. I watch Wendover. I watched the cybersecurity yes. one. That was a good one. It's and a great then, one. And then I ordered a whole pizza and I housed it by myself. <laughs> Holy shit. Put her there. Dude, dude that, that actually reminds me when we came back, like when we first got back, it was dark in the living room and there was a guy sleeping on the couch. 
And in my head, this guy is not any of the people that are staying at the Airbnb. And the owner of the Airbnb had asked you to take care of the cat that was there. So he clearly lives in the house normally. Like he must live in it. Yeah, it's a very lived in spot. It's like a human's house. It's really weird. It's a new trend with Airbnbs. I don't like it. He just leaves for a weekend? Yeah. I dead ass think so. That's actually what it was like. I don't like, there's like pictures of like his kids everywhere and shit. I'm like, fuck this. This is someone's home. But I know that the beds- I can do anything in here. I know that the beds are like taken up. So in my head, it's like, oh, maybe the owner is sleeping on the couch (laughs) to like be nice. Maybe he came back early. And I see the guy and I'm like, are you, are you the owner? And then Josh is like, bro, that's fucking lucky. <laughs> yeah. And lucky lu- was staying lucky with us. Lucky is just to sleep on the couch. And I didn't recognize <laughs> him. The I, owner. Thought, I thought it was the owner of the Airbnb. Yeah, you thought Lucky was now a Vancouver resident. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's yeah. a high story. Good him tournament. And, him and Noel stayed Yeah, it was a great, too. it was a great night out. I just, I, I'm, I hate Nick. I, after no. all this. Yeah, I think that's kind of the thesis of all of this is that Nick Yingling makes things worse a lot. Uh, my takeaway is that Nick Yingling is the life of the party and a hero. He is. You know what? You know what drastically changes the story for me? That he woke you up instead of you having to wake him up. Yeah. That changes everything. That for is me. huge. Also, you guys had to get up early. Which he didn't go to bed. He difficult. never slept. That was the thing. That's he the thing about him. He's night. always grinding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm he, just happy that he put together a calendar for we, him. We were in the airport. We were, the, we were at the gate waiting for the flight, and all he wants to do is sleep. And he was like, if I get off this flight and Ludwig asks me to do anything today, I will kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> and did you? No, I asked him to do things on Wednesday. Oh, so that's he's nice not good. He's you. in the clear. <laughs> yeah, it was a really fun. You know, I was this close to bailing, too, because uh, it was like... On um, all about LBC. Yeah, because like I have shit, I have so much shit to do like physically where I live now, and like it was just like oh, I gotta travel. You lose so many days traveling, and then I was like, you know what? It might be Joshy's last tournament because he was gonna fly back to Australia from Battle of BBC. Yeah, and he didn't, and so that (laughs) kind of pissed me off. (laughs) But once I got there, last minute plan. (laughs) Once I got there, I was like, I'm glad I came, and it made me feel nice, and it was a really nice time. And Joshy is gonna stay here for a little bit longer, which is cool. In, in the stites. In the stites. There he goes home. Before more, Ice fucking strings him up by his feet and whips him. And one more thing. That I, I'm surprised I forgot this. This happened, this happened in the streets between the, second, the last bar and before we went to the club. We were walking over the club and somebody, there's these two dudes walking towards us and one of them is like stumbling a bit more and he has two buttons undone and he's obviously significantly more drunk than the other guy that is with him. And he's, they're walking towards our big group on the sidewalk. And this guy stumbles straight up to me. And he looks at me and he points and he just says, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, I got the thumbnail. Aiden meets the most based man in Vancouver. And then he walks away. And then, and then I, I, I turn, I turn to the group and I, cause I was like, what is, what is going on? I turn back. I'm not kidding. Two more buttons undone. He's four (laughs) buttons deep now. And and then he turns to Stude, and then he's just like, no, actually, you are. What? Yeah. To Stude. To Stude. To To six eight. Massive man who, Stude has at least a foot on this guy. (laughs) Stude is is six seven for those who don't know. Yeah, he's huge. (laughs) And, and, uh, and then he immediately backs down and he's like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't mean that. I'm just, I'm just fucking around. Like, oh my he's, god, he's the dude that just, Alex was talking about in his YouTube comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah he just, like, just, he just instantly pulls back. <laughs> just, just having a good night. And his friend is just like, sorry, I don't, I don't know what's going on. And this was like a really common theme. I, I thought about your. <laughs> you being called that? No. <laughs> your, I thought about your capybara tweet a lot. Oh yeah. Because. Because there was this instance when we were leaving Roxy's where this drunk guy comes out of Roxy's with a glass and the bouncer's like, hey, stop. You can't take that glass out. And the guy's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. It's just like, it's just in my hand. And uh, the guy, <laughs> the, the bouncer uh, just looks at him. And he's like, it's all right, man. It happens. It's like, so <laughs> every, just hug. every like <laughs> figure or person we interacted with, whether it be like shitty bro dude with cowboy hat on, like bouncer, this random drunk guy in the street that like acted like he wanted to start a fight. They all have this nice Canadian sign off to everything. <laughs> and it's, and it's so like, no one, everybody is like, no matter how shitty they are, they still have this Canadian kindness so that shines through. The worst yeah. person in Vancouver is Gina Brader. No, because he also <laughs> apologized. Tiny bat guy. 
the way <laughs> tiny bat guy tiny that was more guy. funny than anything he's not canadian don't I assume. give me gifts i don't care i don't want to have to hold on to a tiny what bat if it's a the cool whole time gift? i don't care the p.o boxes no. have displayed you to would, the world that we throw away things what you, would, you they, would like a better gift you would like a better gift. what if, if someone, they gave you a baby tooth what if someone came up to you and gave you the mcfrib's back hat <laughs> when you didn't have it? their baby teeth if they gave me the yeah all right okay you're right you have owned me and i'm wrong if they gave me Whoa. something super special and cool mm-hmm. like the mcfrib's back hat which mike got me who is a true friend and a true a true blue American, <laughs> then yes. But, uh, you know, that doesn't, I just hate the idea of people feeling like they need to give me something to have a lasting impression when it's really like, don't. <laughs> Dude, sign. So I know you said you, you, you brought a, a pink socks on the last episode, right? <laughs> 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 Bend over, brother. <laughs> Did we hit our 90? That's all. That's all she wrote, folks. Wow, that's crazy. Blah, 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 blah. That's all for now, folks. folks. So you're just going to keep wearing influencer merch to the day you fucking croak or what? If they keep giving it to me, then yes, sir. Wow. I mean, I guess I did buy this one, though. Did you? Yeah, for You supported the cause? I buy Schlatt's merch. I didn't buy his Rammies. I also bought that one. I bought that one, then Aiden stole it. He gave us Rammies. There's also a Carl Jacobs sweater that's been rotting outside in the front. Yeah. It's a shirt. It's a shirt. Uh, Is it a shirt? Yeah, Yeah. it's a green shirt. Oh, okay, so you're aware of it. It's covered in That's right, Carl. He puts your fucking merch in the dirt where he doesn't want it. It's literally in the dirt. Love you, baby boy. Love you, dude. Literally in the dirt. Love you. Got your merch in the fucking ground getting dirty and nasty. Hey, love you, kisses, and never forget (laughs) F-T-B-Y-L-H-H. All right, thanks for watching The Yard, everybody. (laughs) Appreciate it. Friends, fuck, fuck the, you F- guys will never get it. Fuck the you boys. You guys will never get it. You, you laugh. Hey, hey. Stick right, around for hey. the bonus episode where Nick <laughs> will kiss my uh, ball. My Bro smooth laps. But you can't. Anus. You don't get to finish the whole thing. I guess we'll finish it. In, in the, the Patreon premium. episode. Ah. It's getting worse and worse at Ooh. this. You know what? Unsubscribe. There's no value here. Uh, <laughs> bye. Head to see this to see it. And so and so I got rowdy one time. I was like, Yeah, let's go Celtics! <laughs> like on one and one play. And he like turned His around. He was just ringing. Yeah. That's so awesome. I hope he got tinnitus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs>